made all of these guys for the art fair out there this weekend i've got two art fairs coming up in three days so the pressure's on i've got some valentine's themed ones because well valentine's day is coming up so i thought why not capsulize on that i foraged for wood on the path behind my house i found a branch lying on the floor so i picked that up and it's been cut up by my dad and, and that's what they sat on my mum's helped me a lot with these mice as well she's been like making ears and arms and legs and i've been doing the heads and the bodies it's been a real joint effort to make these guys so there for the art fair also for the art fair is what i'm working on here similar to similar to this bunting here i made this for christmas this is as i made it as a downloadable for my patreons so if you join my patreon actually i mean it's not christmas anymore but this will be available forever basically so if you join you can get this lovely downloadable after the success of that i thought i'd make some butterfly bunting i'm also thinking of making it a downloadable on patreon as well um but i'm gonna print these off and try and make like a diy i've made um this is the packaging that's that's what it'll look like when it's put together um this is upside down because it's going to be folded in half the kit will come with the butterflies and the string but you have to like cut them out and glue it together so i'm gonna i don't know if they'll sell at the art fair but it's nice to just have a bit of variety on the table so now i'm just cutting my paper and, and getting it ready to print and then i'm going to print it off see if it works i'm going to make one for myself so i can have like a display one on my stand also over here there's lots more art fair prep uh this is all the prints that i'm going to take uh, i have I think of three of each design my mum again <laughs> was a big help she was packaging these up whilst i was trying to print them all and i was going between printing and making mice and they've all got prices on the back of them learn from my mistake from last because last time I, I did an art fair i just had like a price list on the table and i kept noticing people turning the prints around trying to look for a price um but obviously there wasn't one there so now i've learned from my mistake i'm putting prices on the back of everything Before I carry on with the video, I wanted to quickly promote my Instagram. It's something which I put a lot, a lot of effort into and time into. I spend ages editing pictures and making sure my feed looks nice. I always keep my Instagram story, you know, pretty updated. And the reason I'm promoting it is because at the moment I'm having a bit of a a tough time with the old instagram algorithm it's been going on for quite a few months now and it just seems like everything i post is, is just kind of getting less and less views so i thought it wouldn't harm mention it mentioning it here on youtube because i really never mention it other than just putting a link in the description so um, if you like the look of what I'm showing you now, please consider following my Instagram page. Some of you might already follow it, which is amazing. Um, but you can also on Instagram favourite pages. So I'm going to show you an example of how to do it because I didn't really know you could do it until not too long ago. So you can go to one of your favourite pages and if you press the following button, um, it will give you the option to favourite the page as well. And I think that means you just they will appear higher up on your feed so you're more likely to see their work um, because at the moment... Um, if you follow me, there's no guarantee you'll actually see my work because I, I'm lucky if my work gets seen by 10% of the people who follow me these days. I'm really not getting much reach with my posts these days, um, which is fine, but I do put a lot of effort into it, so it would be nice for the people who follow me to actually see my work. Um, so if you follow me and also favourite me, it would be a massive help. Um, I'd really appreciate it because I've been trying everything. I'm posting every day. I'm posting at apparently what's supposed to be the best time to post every day. And I've been doing that for weeks now. Posting like really consistently and 
it's just getting worse and worse so that would be a massive help so the link is in the description to my instagram it'd be much appreciated thank you let me know in the comments if this is also happening to you i think it's happening to quite a few people i guess instagram has just kind of changed the way it works um but yeah let me know if it's been happening to you and if you've figured out a way to solve it <laughs> um let's all help each other out It's the 1st of February, which means I need to send out last month's Patreon print. Uh, last night, me and my mum were working hard to get everything printed. I was It was a lot of multitasking last night. My mum was making these corners, um, which they go on, on each corner of the prints just to protect it a little bit. Uh, so that's what they are. And then I was trying to print and cutting them up because I print them on A4, so each one needs cutting in half. In, on the guillotine and then I was also making thank you notes trying to design something I just took a sketch from my sketch but what I've been doing every month is I've been taking a nice sketch that I've done and turn it into a thank you note I'll, I'll show you the two previous ones I did an owl and then the first one I did was a mice was a was a, was a mouse um, and those were all original I drew each one by hand which took ages but I thought you know seeing as it was the first ever month I, I, I did it but I obviously I can't do that every month so I think they turned out really cute. Those are my thank you notes. This is the original collage. I was a little bit worried about how it would look scaled up because obviously this is A6 and this is A5, but I really like the way this print turned out. I think the colours are perfect and I just think it's really pretty. So super happy with this print. So I think there's 48 here, which is a nice number. Thank you everyone who's part of the Patreon. Hopefully these get to you safely. So what I need to do is each print gets four corners put on uh, a thank you note and then that all gets popped inside these glassine bags and then that gets put inside an envelope so it's pretty simple but when you've got to do it 48 times it does take quite a while so I'm gonna film a little time lapse I won't film all of it I'll film a little bit and I'll speed it up I also need to put a few stickers on envelopes because I like to put a sticker on the side so that's gonna be me for the next few hours I imagine <laughs> I wanted to show you what this month's print is. You can see me collaging this print in the last video I posted if you want to see the process of that. Um, this is this February's print, so if you pledge to my Patreon at any point in February in the little snips tier or above, you, you will receive this in the post. Um, I think it's quite cute. If you're into collage, it's a nice little snapshot of what your desk looks like in the middle of a collage, or as, well, especially my desk. <laughs> I, t I took a lot of inspiration from, you know, what I had in front of me. So that's the print for this month. I'm gonna leave you with music for a little bit now so you can just enjoy a nice relaxing bit of packing footage and I'll be back in a bit. This is nearly all of them packaged. I just have a couple more I need to package, uh, but they are having extra things put in with them for various reasons. I also need to package a few Etsy orders and I wanted to show you these. I've just popped this together. These are many thank you notes from my shop. I've had, uh, that, well, them guys. <laughs> Those have been my thank you note. It said like thank you underneath. That's been my thank you note. Um, for ages, but I think I'm getting a little bit sick of them. So I thought I needed to print some more. 
And I thought, whilst I'm at it, let's do a new design. So I just took these guys, which I already had edited, and I just popped the little thank you underneath. And I think they're really cute. It's uh, another version of these guys. So I'm going to pack some more orders. I've got a big one here, which needs to get sent with a Patreon thing. And then this also needs to get sent with a Patreon thing. And then I've got two more orders just on my normal shop. And then I will need to do a big trip to the post office to take all these and pop them in the box. Oh no, actually, before any of that, I need to do postage labels. That is a very big job because I need to type out all the addresses into the Royal Mail website. It's a right faff, to be honest, but I actually have a label machine now. I got that for Christmas and that has been helping so much with orders because I used to have to print them out and cut them out by hand and use a glue stick to stick them on. Um, so postage labels, which will probably take me to the end of the day and then I'll probably end up going tomorrow morning with these now. Okay, I'm going to show a little bit of collage footage whilst I talk about how the art fairs went. Uh, just to quickly mention, this is a collage for my top tier Patreon, which is basically just like a, a commission. <laughs> I collage anything every month as long as it fits inside an A6 piece of paper. So this is for Christine and it's a greenhouse. She wanted a greenhouse based collage, so that's what I'm making for her. So this will get sent out to her. Anyway, that's what this is. The art fairs, I'm going to talk about how they went. So the first one was in Manchester on the Saturday. It was in Manchester Cathedral, which is this beautiful building. I'll also pop up some footage that I filmed. I didn't film much because I'm very shy and didn't want to feel like I was filming people. <laughs> so I, I was like struggling to film anything longer than 10 seconds before. I just, I got too shy and I couldn't film anymore. But got all set up and that was a really busy day there were so many people coming in and it was just a really nice atmosphere in there yeah it went well I'm always I'm quite like I've mentioned I'm a shy person so I don't really say much maybe if I said more I'd, I'd get more sales I don't know but I, I I just like to let people browse and then if they want to talk to me they can start a conversation and obviously I'll talk to them if they're, they're buying something but I don't want to like feel like I'm pressurising people to buy something by like talking to them as soon as they come to my stall so basically I just sit there and awkwardly just like look down or look like I'm doing something until someone starts speaking to me. <laughs> that's my technique, that's my sales technique, I don't know if I do very well on The Apprentice. Uh, that'd be my worst nightmare actually, going up and talking to people and getting them to try and buy something, oh goodness me. Anyway, the first art fair I did I think set the set the bar really high. I did an art fair in October last year, and I think October is just a really good time to do an art fair because Christmas is looming. looming. You have uh, Halloween as well, so it's just quite a nice time of year to do an art fair. This one being in February, kind of just after Christmas, people aren't really spending that much, so I kind of went in with the expectation of it of knowing I wouldn't make as much money. But considering it was February, I think I did really well. If you look at it as just one day's worth of work like that's a lot of money to make in one day but if you look at it as really all the time that went into it all the ooh, all the preparing for it basically worked for about five days straight preparing for the art fair so if you take that into account as well the profits don't seem to be as as good anymore but set that aside and think of it as just one day's work that's a lot of money <laughs> So that was Manchester, it went very well, uh, it was a much bigger event than the next one I did, so the, the one I did on the Sunday was in Leeds, I'll pop some video up of that. It was in a much smaller uh, venue, it was in a place called Left Bank. Manchester one is in the city centre, so there's like loads of people just walking past and seeing it and, and bobbing in, whereas the Leeds one is more just kind of on in the middle of a street, <laughs> so there's less people just walking past, but considering that, still loads of people came it, it took about half an hour for it to fill up but once it did fill up it kind of stayed consistently full it still went really well and I ended up getting the exact same amount of sales than I did at the Manchester one and I ended up making more money actually at the Leeds one it's just um, I had the same amount of sales but I guess people bought more in those sales so really good profit for the Leeds one well good profit in both of the days actually I met a few of you guys, I met one of my Patreon members which was really nice. Um, I've kept forgetting to ask people's names because I just get caught up in the moment and then they leave and I think, oh, I should have asked their name. 
<laughs> the only name I remember is, well, the only name I asked was Vicky. I saw her in Leeds towards the end of the, of the day at Leeds and she was really nice. Um, the mice did really well. I've only got two mice left and I think, well, I'm going to give one to my boyfriend for Valentine's. Uh, I made a bunch of magnets as well. I didn't film any of it, but I made, I think, 11 magnets all like collage I think they're really cute I, I really didn't know of this cell I stayed up quite late the night before making them like panic making them thinking I didn't have enough and I didn't really sell that many I think I sold four magnets in total um, but at least I have them made I, I know I'd be able to sell them on my Etsy you know you need you need somewhere to put a magnet and maybe a lot of people don't have magnetic areas <laughs> to place them I think I'll put both the magnets and the bunting on my Etsy when I do my next shop update in Whenever that will be, a few months, probably more around the summertime, spring summertime, I'll do a, a shop update. But those were the art fairs. It went well, especially considering it's February, which is a time of year where I imagine people aren't spending as much as they would in more Christmas time, autumn-y, autumn time. I really enjoy them, although I am very shy, but it, it gets me outside my comfort zone, which I really like. I don't like it, but I mean, it's good for me. It's good to get outside my comfort zone as much as it makes me uncomfortable. And I did have some really nice interactions with, with meeting guys, meeting guys, with meeting you guys, um, went really well. So that's my art fair summary. Uh, hiya, I'm sat in bed. I don't often film here, but uh, this is just where I'm sitting today. I probably saw it earlier on in the video. I have a whole shelf filled with all these beautiful children's books and I have a little confession to make. Some of these I haven't actually read. I just look at the pictures because the pictures are so nice. I never actually like get around to reading it, but I'm going to sit down and, and read through them all as research basically. So these are just some of my favourites. This is uh, Gemma Kumin, Beatrice Al, Mang Al, Al Magna, I might have said that wrong, Matthew Forsyth, Mark Majowski and Britta, oh, Tekken, Tekken Trop. Um, again, not sure how to pronounce that one. Um, now, I've not mentioned this for quite a few videos now, but I am trying to make a children's book. Uh, my agent is helping me because she's a, a children's publishing agent so I have a story, I'll pop some pictures up on screen of some work I've done for it and also I've done a bunch of character designs, I've figured out all of the plot, it's now just actually writing the words. So what I did yesterday, I don't want to spoil too much but I mean I've not really got that far along so I think it'll be fine showing this. Um, I have written down the plot and then I was trying to figure out how to break it into the pages because I'm thinking maybe it'd be 32 spreads? No, <laughs> uh, 16 spreads, so 32 pages. So I was planning it out, like could this story actually fit on these pages? Um, so I did that last night and then I started doing some very, 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 very loose thumbnails. <laughs> I was doing this at like 8 o'clock last night, so I didn't get all the way through. So you probably can't even understand what's going on there, but I can and that's really all that matters. Just getting an idea of can this story, do I like the pacing of the story? Because I don't want to go ahead and write it and then realise that the pacing's too quick and doesn't work and can't be split up for the right pages. So I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to loosely like map out the book pages first and then I will start writing the sentences. I think I can visualise the stories really well and I can like see the story like a movie in my head but getting that into words is something which um, I've never really tackled before. Um, so I'm just going to sit and do a bit of reading. How cute is that? I love that spread. This one's really pretty. Like, look at that. Beautiful. So that's what I'm going to do today and then I, I won't obviously film myself reading, that's boring, but I will film myself doing a bit more thumbnail sketch. I mean it's going to be very very sketchy but sometimes that's just what it's like.
Um, so I've, I did all my sketches, which I filmed a little bit of, and I wanted to just show you the difference between my really scrubbly initial sketch and then how that turns into a slightly nicer sketch. So if I show you, this was my first thumbnail here for this page. I then redrew that a few times to get like the best composition and then I drew that again, still like very scribbly and sketchy but obviously you can you can tell a little bit more about of, of what's going on. Same goes for this page, like I can understand it but no one else will. So that's the first sketch and then this is the worked up version so you can actually see a little bit of a story being told here. I think this mouse is so cute. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching and seeing art fair stuff, uh, making prints for my Patreon, collaging and working on this book idea. So with that being said, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.